China's one-child policy. The one-child policy has successfully slowed down population growth in China. People have enough to eat and drink. The standard of living across the country has increased and women have had the opportunity to concentrate on their careers. In China, the policy varied in terms of how strict it was in, around the country. In the 1970s, the Chinese government felt that the rapid population growth that was taking place in the country was unsustainable and that the country would be unable to feed itself. To control the population, strict rules were introduced. Why did China introduce the one-child policy? However, there have been some drawbacks to the policy. Forced abortions, couples are responsible for four elderly re relatives, there is a gender imbalance, 60 million more boys than girls, children are often spoilt by parents, and lastly, fines are huge and can bankrupt families. The main issue is that China has been left with an ageing population. There are not enough economically active people to support the elderly dependents in the country. The rules of the policy are being reviewed to attempt to deal with the ageing population that China now has. The rules of China's one-child policy are You must not marry until late 20s. You must only have one successful pregnancy. You must be sterilised after your first pregnancy and abort any future pregnancies. If a family has more than one child, they receive a 5-10% to 10 pay rise. People with one child have priority for housing, pensions and education. If both parents are from one child families, they are rewarded by being allowed two children. If they live in the countryside, they are allowed a second child if their first is a girl.